It begins quietly, almost innocently, a little blur in the vision. A pair of double images that shouldn't be there. Eyelids that feel suddenly heavy, as if sleep is pulling them down. Words start to slur, swallowing becomes strange, and something deep inside whispers that something is very wrong. This is the stealth of botulism, one of the rarest yet most dangerous illnesses known. Clostridium botulinum and inconspicuous. Rod-shaped bacterium adrift in the soil and silence of the world, yet it bears a molecular weapon of astonishing potency. Even a trace amount can halt the conversation between nerve. Paralysis begins at the top, the face, the throat, the eyes, then it drifts downward, weakening the arms, the chest, the legs. In the worst cases, the toxin reaches the muscles that pull air into the lungs, leaving the body unable to breathe. Without immediate help, without fast medical treatment, the outcome can be tragic. Most people encounter the toxin through food that wasn't preserved safely home, canned goods, airtight jars, or anything stored in a way that lets the bacteria thrive in the darkness and grow. Others get it through contaminated wounds and, in very rare moments, through inhalation. Once inside, the toxin blocks acetylcholine, the chemical messenger responsible for telling muscles to move. Yet even this silent threat can be survived. With early diagnosis, antitoxin therapy, and respiratory support, the damage can be halted. Recovery is slow, sometimes painstakingly so, but the body can rebuild the delicate pathways the toxin disrupted. Botulism is a reminder of how fragile our internal wiring can be and how quickly something unseen can change everything. With the right care, paralysis is not an ending. It's a beginning of muscle coaxed back to life, of technology lending its strength, of perseverance racing ahead of doubt. Healing arrives in quiet moments, where breath moves freely and the body learns its new rhythm.